Hello beautiful cappuccinos and welcome to your love reading. Today we're going to see what is coming towards you in love. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, comments and subscribes. I really appreciate you guys. If any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything to make a donation to the channel um, or to become a member to gain access to the saucy readings, you guys know what to do. It's in the description box down below, okay? So this is for my beautiful cappuccino. So let's just see what is coming towards you in love. Oh my God, cappuccinos, cappuccinos, cappuccinos. What's going on? You keep getting the same energy, darling. Okay, we have, you don't own me. I pretty, I'm pretty, i pretty much sure I named like one of your last readings this. But it says, um, freedom, alignment, aerial, and fitness, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have, I want you back, which reads, um, regrets, missing you, sadness, and sleepless nights. Okay, so... <laughs> Capricorn, 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 what is happening here? I, I really want to know, like, who it is, like, who, who it is, okay? But somebody here, whether it's you or the other person, they're completely free, okay? So, like I told you in the last reading, you don't have ownership over this person or this person does not have ownership over you. So, somebody clearly, somebody here is clearly possessive, okay? But I feel like somebody here is free, um, they're aligned as you can see all the chakras are down here like somebody's just out here just living their life Okay, somebody else has a lot of regrets and they're missing you So somebody's missing the fact they could be missing the fact that they don't have control over you Or they're just missing the fact that you are just free, you know, you're just you're um, how can I say? Like how can I say I'm just trying to think about this We're just gonna say you're just free you're free you're single or you can do what you want or you are on the market if you will okay but let's just see where this is going so obviously there's somebody that wants you back they have some type of regrets maybe somebody also regrets trying to control you because you know the rings of saturn you know what i mean now this could be you saying listen i'm the controller you don't have control over me at all period especially not in a relationship sense but let's see where this is going cappuccino because mm. Your messages are just like always the same. But I, I find it like for me personally, I feel like it's a bit juicy. <laughs> it's like, can be a bit, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not like the water signs readings. Like I had to stop reading for them because they're just toxic as fuck. But this is a bit like, because I really want to know like who it is. I'm like, is this the cappuccino that's doing this? But I mean, it's not funny to try and be possessive over people. It's not, but somebody obviously has regrets here or somebody wants you back. I feel like someone is, could be like losing control. That's just what it is. Or someone just feels like they, um, I feel like when somebody's like um, in love here or when they're in a relationship, they, they, they can just become very possessive over the person. And so someone's just kind of like, oh my God, like I've just lost, I've lost control over them. But it's like, but why are you trying to control? So like, do you know what I mean? I just don't know. Like, I don't know why I find it funny as well. It's not funny at all, but I don't know. Let's just see. Maybe this is you. You could be finding it quite funny. Because I have cappuccino placements, but they're, like, in the right places. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm a capistellium, but it's in the right places. Like, you know. Oh, we have the strip tease. It says teasing, seduction, and performance. So, yeah, some of you could be out here just looking fine as fuck, okay? Um, somebody could be seduced by the way that you perform. Somebody also could be trying to, like, go to strippers or something to try and get their mind off of you or maybe this is what someone thinks that you're doing because she's kind of even though the pole is round she's holding on to something they're holding on to something i feel like someone is afraid that you're gonna like um because i have to cover that because you know youtube but somebody could be afraid that you're just out here just looking absolutely scrumptious like like someone goes to the worst case scenario when they think of freedom it's like oh my god i'm not dating so and so anymore they're gonna become a porn star like what do you mean i'm just gonna move on with my life like <laughs> do you know what i mean like so some of you are probably very sexy now again sex appeal it could be anything it could be the way that you talk the way that you sound it could be your energy it could be the way that you look okay but someone feels like you're teasing them or maybe somebody regrets something that they've done with a stripper or a whore okay so i mean this could go many different ways darling now i'm thinking about it okay the truth which says um facts confessions and no bs okay 
oh we have the breakup it's a separation heartache and freedom once again yeah so i feel like for some of you as well maybe you were dating someone who's like you know what now i want to be free i want to do what i want like maybe when you was with someone they were trying to say that you need to like restrict yourself and cover up again that could be your energy because that's you i don't know what's going on pick a side pick a place pick a position pick a person okay but i feel like somebody here wanted to do whatever they want i feel like as well with the strip tea somebody like um seeing you free that's just what someone just thinks about they look at you and they just think oh my goodness like you're just a walking sex bomb or this is someone's like greatest fear oh and then look we have the regret okay the cards are just repeating themselves remorse self-blame and sadness yeah so somebody really does have a lot of regrets here they really do okay they really 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 do like somebody really like wishes that they didn't do something somebody's really fucked up here so obviously you've broken up. I feel like some one person is free and just happy and the other person is like, Wah! like, you know what I mean? So yeah, but it's either you want someone back or someone wants you back. Okay. Mm. This could also be someone as well. Like, you know, like when you, you, you go out with someone and you don't want to be with them anymore. They're like, oh, you whore, you slapper, you slag. It's like, what do you mean? Like, I'm celibate? The last person I had sex with was with you, and that was like how many years ago? Or, or like, you know, I don't like, you know what I mean? Like, somebody could be trying to like make it out that you are trash or you're this, that, and the third because you're very attractive or because you're just moving on and you're just happy. So, somebody could be trying to say something, maybe that's what they regret. Okay. This could go many different ways, darling. Or maybe this is why somebody felt like they needed control over you because I just feel like someone is very insecure here. I feel like someone is very insecure, so they could be like, um, someone is just like scared to death that like you're going to sleep with someone or that you're going to show your body off to the entire world, you know, but I actually feel like someone just feels like, okay, sorry, I don't know, this is like a bit of string, I don't know what's going on there, um, yeah, someone, may, that could be an omen, someone feels like you've cut the strings or I don't know what's going on, I don't know what's going on, but we're going to find out, people, we're going to find out. Sorry. I really wish I had an American accent. Like, I feel like it just makes the reading sound better, doesn't it? Like, oh my God. Like, oh my God. Somebody's like, you know, they, they regretting something. They going for a breakup. You out here looking all kinds of fun. Like, <laughs> okay, let me know even, darling. Please come find the strip tease. Oh, well, good Lord. We have focus. Well, this is what I'm trying to say. This is, this is, someone is like fixated on, I feel like who you're sleeping with. Or the fact that you are available for people to sleep with. So that's what I feel like is. I feel like somebody feels like they own your yoni or your lingam. And you're just like, you don't own these parts. Yo, this reminds me of... I don't know if I should share that story. I'm trying to like not share stories. Because I just don't know who's watching me. But you know. Let me give you an example. So it's not a story. It's got nothing to do with me. But like, this is like you making you fornicating with someone and they're like you know that pussy's mine <laughs> don't give it away <laughs> sorry and it's like now you're free it's like oh my goodness they're giving it away it's like well it wasn't yours to begin with or anyways like that's just something i said in the moment or <laughs> sorry guys we have communication at the bottom of the deck but someone is fixated on you or like I said, this could have been someone who like they went to strip clubs or they done something. And then you're just like, you know what? I'm not going to be with you if you're like, you've got all of this and you're going to look at them. And half of those titties and arse are not even real. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? I don't know what's going on here because I'm getting a lot of different stories. But somebody regrets something that they did and they want you back. And I feel like this person is thinking about you in a sexual way. You know, like, um, so... Maybe some of you got that Venus trap. Divine feminine. Mm -hmm. So somebody knows that they were dealing with the divine feminine. Fine, divine, and aligned, darling. Okay. And then we have, yeah, tender touch. Someone wants to reach out to you, but they're also worried about who's got their hands or their claws on you. I'm telling you, I feel like someone's worried about the wrong things. Like, do you know what I mean? Someone is like really afraid that someone else is going to get your, your yoni or your lingam. Or someone just can't get over this. I feel like someone is like pussy whipped here or dickmatized. Okay. Well, they don't have jurisdiction. 
over your Padani. So they need to stop policing it. You know what I mean? You don't have jurisdiction over here. You know what I, you like what I did? Jurisdiction. <laughs> policing the pussy. <laughs> energy from people okay let's just see let's just see what's going on can we have some confirmation from the tarot please and thank you darling <sighs> the three of swords okay someone's really going through it could be done with a libra or a pisces yeah someone is just so someone is not revealing that they're heartbroken but they really are for some of you you could be readers or you could just be very intuitive okay maybe you saw through the bullshit but yeah someone someone would be absolutely heartbroken if they knew that you were doing it with someone else Maybe for some of you, you are, and it's just completely tearing this person apart because somebody else is tearing it up. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's because I haven't eaten yet any, um, you know, like I, I haven't eaten any food yet. It's quite late. I haven't eaten anything. I just had a cup of sweet tea. That's what happens when I have a sugar rush, darling. Okay, but someone could be getting readings on you, but there, someone is hiding. So yeah, because I think in your last reading, I was getting that someone's acting like they're not obsessed with you, but they are. So I feel like now someone is like actually breaking down. Okay, because I feel like this is like a continuation of like the same story. The never ending love story. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yeah. So somebody feels like you are a part of their fortune. You are their destiny. Um, someone is think like wishing that they could kind of like turn back time and be with you again because someone sees you in your high vibration or this is you. I also feel like this needed to happen because I feel like you're on top of the wheel now. Yeah, because, you know, we see the wheel and the wheel and that's ruled by Saturn. So I feel like you're the divine feminine or oh, man watching this doesn't matter. You're okay because, yeah, you're in control of your own destiny. Someone is trying to like, you're just like, hold on a minute. You're talking to like father time. You're talking to Saturn. You're trying to make, you're trying to tell me what way to go. Like, I will structure, bitch. Fuck you, me. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like you've, like, humbled someone here in a romantic sense. But either way, because I'm getting, like, this real cocky attitude. So I feel like you're doing absolutely fine. Somebody else is not. But they're not doing okay because somebody fucked you over. There's something about, like, a stripper here or, you know, somebody was giving their attention to someone else or someone is just terrified that you are going to, like, sleep with someone else or that you have already or that you are and you're just... Know what I mean? The four of ones. Yeah, someone is afraid that you have you're in a new relationship with someone else, that you're stable. Or somebody regrets how they handled a relationship. Okay, so you could be done with an Aries. Okay, so where's the three of swords, please? Oh, dear lord. We have the tower. I feel like stuff just got serious. Someone, yeah, someone's like breaking down. They're going through like a mental breakdown. So something is completely collapsing for this person. I also feel like they've had an epiphany. Now, for some of you, you may actually break up. This could be what is coming towards you. But the surrounding energy was I want you back. So I don't think so. I think that this is somebody who you've already broken up from. But I feel like you're doing fine. And someone else has a lot of fucking regrets. Like they have a lot. Now, this could be someone that broke up with you. They have, they, they, um... They regret breaking up with you or they regret a third party. Maybe somebody cheated. They lied. Okay. They could have regret what they said to you with the king of swords. Somebody was like really cold hearted towards you, you know, but obviously this person needs you. Yeah. You're focused on your, your fortune with the queen of pentacles. And you know, the queen of pentacles is here technically twice. And that's your energy. There you are. And there you are. And there you are again. So I feel like you're doing fine. I feel like this is this other person, unless they also have Capricorn placements, or you could be dealing with any of the fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. But you're focused on the coin. And again, you know, it's like the same wheel, the same compass. It's just like, I'm sorry, but I'm in control of my destiny here, darling. But I feel like that's what you're focused on. You're focused on grounding yourself. You're focused on your money, your coins, your bag, your look good, your feel good, you're, you're doing good. And somebody here is really feeling it. We have the five of cups. The regret, which is, again, is the five of cups. I want you back the five of cups. Somebody here is, like, really distraught. Yeah. Oh, it's because of something that they said. That one is a fall on the floor, but I'm not going to bend up to pick that up. But the queen of swords, yeah. Someone regrets cutting you off, or they regret something that they said to you, or they regret not telling you the truth. But someone is really upset here. Like, they really want you back. Like, they really regret... They, they're just fucked. So if you're wondering, like, is someone doing okay without me? No, the fuck they're not. Okay? And you can feel good about that too. I mean, it's up to you, but... 
I can't get over you. Yeah, someone can't get over you. Period. But I feel it's almost like it's just hit this person. Because like I said last week or the other day, they were acting like they didn't give a fuck. Now all of a sudden. <laughs> I, I don't even know why I'm laughing, but I just feel like that's how you are. Because like I said, she looks really happy. She's like, okay, well, I mean, it is what it is. I'm miserable without you. We can see that, darling. Oh, and I want to make money with you mm, because like I said, they can see that you're doing well. This could have been someone who you were supposed to work with. And maybe they don't want you because, you know, your power, your success. So your energy is actually needed in someone's life because you are the 10th house. Power, career, success, ambition, fame. So I feel like you were the catalyst to somebody's growth or somebody's fortune and they fucked you over. And I feel like you're about to be extraordinarily fortunate and someone's just going to sit there. Yeah, with the performance, somebody's going to, someone's going to be taunted and teased by watching you perform. Because they, they, they had regrets. They should have handled the situation correctly and they didn't handle it. You could be dealing with a Taurus because they got that in their reading and I admire you. Yeah, somebody admires you because they can see that you're putting down roots and you're focusing on your coins. You're trying to build something because that's what cappuccinos do. So this could have been somebody that was holding you back because maybe they were, sorry, I think I just spat there. Maybe they, they, they were like threatened by your potential, but it's just like, well, I'm a cappuccino. So if I, if I exceed you, I'm supposed to. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? But you're, you're in a relationship. So it's like power couple vibes. Like if I go to the top, you're coming with me. Like, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm, I don't know what's going into me, guys. I just don't know. And I'm feeling really great. Okay. And you're the one that I want, only you, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pick up the damn phone, I just want to talk to you. Somebody wants to talk to you, and you drive me crazy. I keep fantasizing about you. Mm -hmm. So, you drive me crazy. I just can't speak. Na, na, na. I'm so excited. Okay, we have fight for it, yeah. So some, maybe somebody regrets not fighting for the connection or maybe there was two women fighting over somebody or, you know, I don't know what's going on here, but I feel like you're not fighting for shit. You're sitting here looking at your coins, looking at your shmoney, honey, looking at your fortune, honey, and somebody else is feeling some type of weird. Oh, uh, and I'm coming back to you soon. Yeah. So somebody wants you to know that. So now I'm hearing, I want you back. I want you back, said I want you back for good. I said whatever I say, whatever I did, I didn't mean it. I just want you. Who sings that? I can't remember the band. It's like a really old song. I'm coming back to you soon, wanting to fly out again in temptation. And I'm working on myself right now. Yeah, I feel like this person needs to. Because this person has control issues or a problem. They have a problem. They have a problem. They have a problem. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys okay but that is the end of the reading i have nothing more else to say somebody wants to come back to you they want to fight for it they have a lot of regrets this could be what this person wants to communicate but i feel like right now somebody's like wallowing in their sadness while you're just out here just with the money you know what i mean like but anyway darling that is it and that is all if you like the reading if you felt like it resonated you know what to do like share support support a girl you know I mean, then you get bonus readings, guys. I've been giving Libras bonus because they've been supporting. But cappuccinos, you just done well. So you know what I mean? You might have to get a little, a little extra sun, sun. Okay. But thank you so much, darling. I hope this helped you. Tulips.